Hi everybody, Riskmonger here. And welcome back to Astrology Baseball on MLB The Show 21. Where here it is still opening day. This is the third of our relevant opening day matchups between the Scorpio Scorpions and the Cancer Crabs. Remember, in Fantasy Astrology Baseball, I create 12 custom teams, one for each sign of the Zodiac, where the rosters of each team are determined by the players born under that sign. Your pitching matchup today for Scorpio, we've got Sonny Gray, currently on the Cincinnati Reds, and for Cancer, Steven Strasburg of the Washington Nationals. These teams are represented by the Angels and the White Sox, respectively. You might notice that I made some changes to the Scorpio uniforms. They're not just a direct copy of what the Angels wear. The color scheme is a little bit darker, and I added a stripe down the side, which I thought looked pretty sharp. Here you get a glimpse of the power in the Scorpio outfield. Joey Gallo, Giancarlo Stanton, Juan Soto. But the Cancer Crabs have plenty of power in their lineup as well, which we'll get a glimpse of a little bit later in the game. Here's Sonny Gray, the Scorpio starter. Not the kind of pitcher you'd identify as a fantasy ace exactly, but Scorpio is fairly weak in the pitching department. He would get off to a good start here though, striking out Charlie Blackman to end the first inning. Remember the computer makes all these lineup choices for me, so putting Charlie Blackman in the number three spot is based on years of good performance rather than just the stats from 2020 to 21. On the mound for the Cancer Crabs, we've got Steven Strasburg. He doesn't get a cool intro like the home team pitcher does, but he also works a 1-2-3 inning, striking out Juan Soto to end the first. Leading off the second inning, we've got Nelson Cruz, who's the designated hitter for the Minnesota Twins in real life and shows no signs of slowing down, even at age 40. And Nelson Cruz hits a big fly ball to left field, it's going to be over the head of Soto, and a solo home run opens the scoring in this one. A line drive into the visitor's bullpen, and Cancer is on top one to nothing. So the Cancer Crabs probably have the biggest designated hitter logjam of any team in the Fantasy Astrology Baseball League. In addition to Nelson Cruz, you've also got Jordan Alvarez on the Astros, Franmil Reyes on the Indians, and that's not even counting Shohei Otani, who I actually have in the rotation right now, just because the cancer pitching is fairly weak. Although with the power display he's putting on, I'll probably have to readjust for the next matchup. The game actually chose to keep Jordan Alvarez in the lineup by putting him in left field, despite his uh, suspect defense. So now with the one run lead, Steven Strasburg digs in, striking out Giancarlo Stanton. The game actually has Stanton in center field, flanked by Juan Soto and Joey Gallo, which um, I guess their system of judging defensive ratings differs a lot from the real world, because Stanton has been exclusively a DH in 2021. But after that home run to Cruz, Gray would settle down as well, striking out Yadier Molina, who I don't think is a big stretch to say is the best Cancer Crabs catcher of all time. I obviously haven't run the numbers all the way back to the beginning of baseball's history, but it's hard to imagine somebody better than Yachty. Gray and Strasburg would trade strikeouts throughout the next couple of innings, with Trevor Story, the leadoff hitter, going down in the third. The game was resourceful enough to put Trevor Story at second base, in deference to Francisco Lindor at shortstop, that way one of them does not have to occupy the DH slot. And in the fifth, Sonny Gray pitching to Manny Machado. He goes down on the breaking ball away. Machado's offensive stats actually kind of leave a lot to be desired in this game, even though he's the top overall rated Cancer Crabs player. That's mostly because of his defense. Leading off the bottom of the fifth inning, we've got Scorpio third baseman Rafael Devers. He plays for the Red Sox, and he actually splits real-life third base duty with Kyle Seeger on the Mariners. And Devers hits a 1-1 pitch deep down the line. Is it going to stay fair? Yes, it does, as it bounces off the foul pole. And Devers hits a big home run to tie the game. 
So it's not just the Scorpio outfielders that have a lot of power. <laughs> We've got a big celebration with Lindor. And you can see this one was hit high in the air and it just barely stays fair. Bouncing off that foul pit. Despite that one blemish, Strasburg would stay hot. Striking out Eric Hosmer for his 10th strikeout of the game. Strasburg has been injured for much of the 2021 season, but he's actually just activated off the injured list, which will help this Crabs pitching staff to no end. Next batter, however, is Juan Soto, who hits a line drive into the right center field gap over the shift, and he'll have a stand-up double. He slid, but he didn't have to. And that's going to be enough for digital Tony La Russa, who um, is not looking too good in his AI avatar. As he waddles out to the mound and takes the ball from Strasburg. Coming in in relief is former Phillies starting pitcher Jared Eikhoff, who has not pitched in the majors since 2019. He actually signed a minor league deal with the Mets this season, but I guess the computer likes his underlying skills because he's on the roster as Cancer's primary long reliever. Here he is pitching to Marcel Ozuna with two outs. That one's in the dirt. Juan Soto's trying to run on Molina. And don't do that. He gets gunned down at third base. A nice tag applied by Manny Machado. Eikhoff gets out of the jam in the sixth. And we're still tied 1-1. This tie would persist up until the eighth inning as Robert Stock comes out of the Scorpio bullpen. Stock is another pitcher who has not played in 2021. He threw 10 games for the Red Sox in the shortened 2020 season, and then he was picked up off waivers by the Cubs. Stock would get two outs in the inning, but would also allow two base runners via the walk, which brings up Ramon Laureano, who came in to pinch run for Jordan Alvarez in the previous inning, and also act as a late inning sub in left field. I have a feeling we're gonna see that a lot on this cancer roster if the computer insists on putting designated hitters in the corner outfield spots. And this move pays off as Laureano hits one deep into left field. Soto takes a fairly circuitous route to the ball, but it doesn't matter because it's over that fence. And Laser Ramon's three-run home run has put Cancer up on top. Ramon is having a great season for the real-life 2021 A's as <laughs> he's got a nice celebration with Cody Bellinger. Digital Joe Madden is not happy about it. The relief pitcher he brought in did not do a good job. Although you can't really blame him for his bullpen usage since Scorpio does not have a lot of great options. Here's another one though, Shane Green, who also hasn't pitched in 2021. He actually just signed with the Braves a couple of weeks ago in early May after sitting out the offseason without an offer. He'll face Cody Bellinger who takes this pitch deep to center field. It's back-to-back -back home runs for Cancer off different pitchers, and they now have a 5-1 to one lead. Former National League MVP Cody Bellinger has not played a lot in 2021. He's only got four games under his belt with the Dodgers before he went down with an injury. He should probably return towards the beginning of June, I'm guessing. As here we get a replay of Cody Bellinger's swing. It's not as, uh, the game's version is not as violent as his swing in real life. I guess you don't want your pixels getting too contorted. And with a non-save situation, Jared Eikhoff remains in the game for his fourth inning of relief. He gets Francisco Lindor to ground out softly to second base for the final out of the game. And the Cancer Crabs complete a nice comeback victory. Or I guess they never actually trailed at any point. But they did break the tie thanks to this man, Ramon Laureano, who did not start, but again, I'm guessing he'll get plenty of late-game defensive innings. And it looks like he'll also contribute with the bat as well. So that's it for this one, as the Cancer Crabs begin the season 1-0. So I hope you've enjoyed this astrology baseball matchup. Stay tuned for more recaps as the simulated season progresses. Be sure to check out the links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.